Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land plays the Binding of Isaac. Uh, repentance. Dare I? I mean, we have so many, and by so many, I mean so few other things to do. Like, in, in my heart of hearts, it feels like it's just the right time to start grinding a little Tainted Lost. Remember, with Tainted Lost, the thing is, you're supposed to get uh, better items, but there's no defensive items. So you, you well, there's none of the traditional game-winning uh, defensive items, right? So I, I got a strat here, and it really does, in my opinion, it just comes down to um, finding the perfect run, you know? Um, we. You, you could talk all day, and I know that people love to do so about the exact optimum strategy. You could spend 75 hours coming up with a mathematical proof to tell you the best way that you could spend half an hour to get the, um, the dream run. Um, I've already got a little bit of a methodology, okay? My methodology is early in the game, you don't have to pop the holy card. There is a chance you either get... An early D1, an early blank card, even an early, like, Yera rune or something like that. There's probably some other options, but um, this is stuff that, that could actually multiply your chances of winning the game by a, a significant amount. Um, for the time being, we, we buy this just because there's a chance there's a holy card in there. But for the time being, we just hold on to the holy card. Because, like, honestly, this our success on this particular run doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters is our success on one run eventually. So, it as, as strange as it sounds... Maximizing our chances of living for like a couple of extra rooms early on probably doesn't meaningfully increase our ability to succeed as this character eventually. You know, it, it, let me put it this way. There's not going to be too many situations where you get hit on the first floor and if you hadn't been hit, um, you, you would have lived and immediately gotten carried. Instead, I think tailoring your strategy in such a way that you can get carried in the future is is probably the is probably the way to go like maximizing your carry potential long term for now we can just go straight down perhaps thematically fitting on this run cuz that's probably where we're heading at the end of it and i still i, I just don't want to pop it yet i i'd like to see this first shop straw's nice man like aoe is i mean one of the many problems you face on a run where you literally, like, can basically never get hit. Um, so I'm, I'm happy, uh, happy to see that. Anything that makes it easier to kill enemies before they can do contact damage to us is big. After this shop, um, we will pop the holy card. You know, it, the same logic applies of, uh, you know, we could get blank card later or something like that. But at some point, you kind of got to... I think you gotta cut your losses. I'm not saying I've got it mathematically figured out, by the way. I'm just saying this is the way I'm choosing to approach it. Um, nine volts really good. That's that's good with the straw. Doubles charge time or halves charge time, I should say. Mystery sacks pretty good. All right. Turns out this this run is now uh, is now on its way. Straw with mystery sack or sorry, straw with um, with nine volt is gonna be pretty sweet. I certainly would not suggest we got the whole thing figured out yet, but here we are. Now, here's the, the ultimate question. As a self-professed, uh, probably the person who invented Angel Deals being so good. Just kidding. Uh, I was very stubborn about it. Is it deal with the angel or deal with the devil? You get a free deal with the devil. You get the deals a little earlier, but the deals with the... Uh, the deals with the angel, I'm not going to say they tend to be better, because I don't think that's necessarily true. They they tend to have a higher expected yield if you have to, you know, pay for a deal with the devil. Which you do as most characters. I'm going to give it a try. Now, both of these are horrible. But at least Guppy's hairball is a, a Guppy item. And, oh no. Um, What are we doing here? There's true ending potential. There's delirium. 
There's Mega Satan, which we will not be doing in all likelihood. There's just random Dark Path. For me right now, I'm like, why not? You know, why not try to swing the true ending? We have a good run. Or uh, the alt path, I should say. I, I, I gotta come up with better names for these, man. This is getting... This is getting absurd. I also think that the... Well, I would, no, that's not true. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the hardest thing about the alt path is the, the rooms before the bosses. Then I remembered... Yep. Um, what the bosses look like, and I was like, mm, I'm not sure that's technically true. So, all is not lost. W did you see the, the homing shot? <laughs> we lived, but I mean, that's, uh, that's nasty, man. Um, we're, we're definitely looking for another holy card. PhD is, I mean, for seven cents, is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know what you'll give me. If you give me anything worthwhile. We're really just waiting for... I, the, the, that's very nice. More damage makes straw substantially better. Um, we're, we're really just waiting for uh, our holy card uh, to show up. And, and we're hoping the most likely outcome or, or most likely location to find a holy card is probably via a mystery sack at this point. But for now, I mean, we're, we're doing... If you want to... Talk theory, you can talk theory. But at the end of the day, you know, the, the way that you beat a tainted lost run most of the time is just like don't get hit forehead. So um, we'll give it a try here. Soul of Apollyon is, is pretty nice. Perfection obviously is, is uh, a nice trinket to have as well. Tears upgrade is pretty good. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm feeling. <laughs> it's weird if this was was not a tainted lost run. I'd be feeling quite confident indeed um, But if it weren't a tainted lost run We probably would not have the same caliber of item Just a really tricky dodge there because of the the spawners, but There we go uh, Always want to see if we can get access there Come on, you know you got something for me. I don't really understand Little Portal. I think it's gonna raise our cognitive overhead, so I'm, I'm backing up and I, I think you gotta take a stab at this one. This is a really strong offensive run. We're just lacking the, the, the one thing we need. Well, two things. One of them is the, the wherewithal, and I, I struggle with this, but the wherewithal to not get involved um, like right next to enemies just because that's the way I normally play the game <laughs> We need to stand far back here um, And then the other thing is like some kind of repeatable invincibility which we presently lack so if we could get rid of The straw I wouldn't take uh, pleasure in doing so Because I think it's pretty good But it also might be the best thing for us, you know long term we could get rid of the straw, pick up some kind of invincibility. I'm just thinking of the boss here. And to be honest with you, as, as cowardly as this might seem, I actually think we bail. I think one of the reasons we beat the boss is we just overwhelm them with that soul of Apollyon. I don't think a stat item is really that, uh, it's going to move the needle for us that much. I think the most important thing would just be to get the heck out of town here. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for that decision. We already have small rock. Let's not blow up any any tinted rocks here. <clears throat> Dice room. Would I reroll? I'm trying. Well, I'll absolutely reroll consumables, and this is exactly why. We got our holy card. Um, that's a little bit of luck, but you have to keep in mind as well, you know, something like the cards have a 10% chance to be a holy card or something like that. So, oh, no, 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 no. The more chances we give ourselves, the less lucky we have to be. So, you know, when a 1 in 10 chance pans out, are you lucky? If you answered yes to that question, I eagerly encourage you to take a statistics class. If, if you have one attempt at something and you get a, a 1 in 10 chance, yeah, I'd say that's lucky. 
if you have a hundred thousand attempts at something and and one one in ten chance comes to pass then i would say if, if anything you might have even gotten a little bit uh statistically unlucky but luckily for us one was all we need bob's rotten head honestly just kind of a slap in the face <clears throat> Trinket Smelter is at least good for now um, to get that luck, I don't know, semi-permanently. And then I'm just thinking, because I'm like Pandora's box, we're technically on the fourth floor. I am just going to pop it, and it, it ended up being horrendous. Maybe we could have saved it for a secret room. On the bright side, though, you're absolutely right. We do get another trinket that could be smelted. Bombs, um, and, and I hate losing the straw for a little bit here, but... Bombs actually are the kind of thing that, that can be useful on a run where you you maybe encounter a lot of rooms that you don't want to do. I think that would describe us pretty accurately right now. Watch out for the fires. That's like the, the number one <laughs> most preventable way to die in this game. Keep in mind, by the way, that no matter how well we construct our run, we probably have to play, uh, and I hate this boss, dude. We probably have to play amazingly in order to, to beat uh, Ubermom. We shouldn't be standing there, that's for sure. Um, with, without getting hit more than one time, which is all we can guarantee without having some kind of, uh, you know, like renewable invincibility going on up there. Please tell me I got him there. Nope. I was not even close. Wow, the, the drilling is getting closer. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that at some point in the near future, there's going to be like a, a Looney Tunes cartoon. Like a, a laborer is going to cut like a, a little circle out of my ceiling and then pop his head through and be like, you know, everything okay down there. But that one, it's for headphone users only. This is the only wave that, that tilts me. Because I'm like, it, am I missing something for like how you get through this wave faster? Or, or maybe that's, is it designed to simply test your patience? I don't want to be up here. The, uh, the tractor beam speed is proportional to, uh, inversely proportional to your distance to the boss. Uh, F, okay, don't panic. You just build some space. Oh, come on. At some point, you you can... I, I think you earn the right to say, oh, come on. <laughs> and that was like... We, we dodged so well through that just to get hit by something that was like really, really hard to avoid. So I'm taking Bookable Isle because it's a book. Um, and because Trinket Smelter... I'm not going to say it's necessarily served its... Uh, you know, overstate its welcome or whatever, but... I, uh, you know, we, we got some value out of it at the very least. And I think we'll we'll probably just keep the straw. And I think we leave the floor. Maybe we take a card with us. You never know. Maybe we take a pill with us. You never know. It is a health upgrade. Which is, uh, you know. That's, that's the irony of PhD, I suppose. Now let's get the heck out of here. 13 minutes in. It's still a good run, for the record. It could be, uh, it, it could be better. They could just start spitting, uh, you know, holy cards out every single floor. But for the time being, like, it's, it's fine. I'd always appreciate an item room right off the bat. We'll never know what the other item was, but I'm okay with common cold. In, in theory, <laughs> this boss shouldn't be too bad. But the game ain't played in theory. Okay, in theory, this boss should be horrible. I do want to, like, try to get some bombs involved here. That's a dodge. I'll stand by that one. Don't. Don't. Dodges don't. Okay, we made it. 
That's gonna make the inevitable death on this run that much more uh, heartbreaking because we actually made it through a situation that we probably uh, were not necessarily considered the favorites to do so. Um, but here we are. We need that holy card. If only for peace of mind, we need this holy card. For now, let's just go get this knife piece. You don't have to do it this way, but... You know, while, while we're here, I think it's it's for the best. <laughs> Apologize. The banter's been... It's been stopping and starting, but there's been... For for the idiocy that we got hit with right off the bat on, on like, the second floor, or the... I guess it was the first tinted floor. Um, we, we really never should have been in a position to get hit there. Um, but... Since then, there's been some pretty special dodges on this one. Like, there's... And I'm, I'm not one of those people who's like, you know... Did, did you see the video that's like... The fact that you're seeing this video means there are no such thing as coincidences. Your thoughts shape your reality. And then the lady who's jogging sees him and... You, I, I mean, you have to see the video for yourself to understand the context of what I'm talking about, but... She goes, ah! Anyway. It's a great video. Um, I'm not one of those people who thinks that necessarily that, you know, there's no such thing as coincidences in your, your thoughts shape your reality. Uh, except in the, you know, most obvious of senses, I suppose. Um, but I really do feel like if you start to believe that you can't dodge uh, some enemies, you're right. A lot of the time in this game, I look at a situation and I think to myself, self, you can do this. And then I, it seems like it's one of those things like whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Bookworm's fine here, but these are not the books I'm really looking for. Like Book of Shadows really would have hit this spot. Speed. I think, you know, you, you can just uh, like psychologically, once you've already accepted a loss, it's easier to embrace the loss. Which can be an insulating factor, you know, for, for your well-being. But also was kind of the coward's uh, approach. I'm trying to I'm trying to take the the high risk high reward path here. Amazing! Wow, great shot! Amazing. Um, so no holy card. We got a boss coming up. I don't even know what boss I want to see. I'm scared of it being one of the bosses that we already killed uh, and then dying to them in a much easier context. But again, you want to talk about the coward's philosophy? That's that's the coward's philosophy right there. Mom's box of trinkets. We get the mom transformation. We get holy crown. I don't, I don't know if that does anything for us. Um, high priestess, I will tell you. High priestess. is something I will be looking forward to. Uh, I think this is an annoying boss. This is not... Ah, maybe it's not that bad. Get owned. Thank you, High Priestess. Otherwise, that would have been, like, outrageously annoying. Growth hormones? No, no Krampus, please? Okay, this also annoying, but at least it was not Krampus. Um, and I want to take the world card. At the very least, I think we've established that... I mean, the mausoleum is a disaster. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think if this will even do anything. I don't know. It gives us a luck upgrade, which I think beats the, the crumpled paper for now. At the very least, we, we've had success up to this point on this run. We really shouldn't be alive, and yet here we are. But the mausoleum is, is truly a, a disaster. Not from a game design standpoint, because I'm pretty sure it was designed to inflict psychological pain. Um, but from the perspective of us living. So I thought this room would be for the best to start with, because, you know, a double key room maybe has a better chance for some special things to drop. Uh, apart from that, I'm going to maybe try to get ourselves up into the... Uh, yep, 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 yep. I, I knew it was coming. It, it, that's not... And I'm, I'm being completely sincere. That's not a throw. Like, that's how you expect that to go. <laughs> if it had been a, uh, a better run, you know, particularly with respect to defense, 
Because that's really like a, a pretty average run as far as like Tainted Lost Item Pool goes. If that had been a better run, um, that's a different story, but that that hurts um, because he, and you're going to laugh at me for this one, but he walked into the fire, which caused him to ricochet off with slightly more momentum than usual. This is how Tainted Lost goes sometimes. You just got to remind, you just got to steal yourself from the psychological pain. And if anything, can I tell you, I'm actually like... I'm enjoying the freedom of being able to take a hit with no pressure associated temporarily. Until we get a good item, it really doesn't matter uh, if we die on the first couple of rooms. This is, uh, it's interesting. It's uh, certainly not a bad item. Maybe not the kind of item you would be like, you know, this is such an incredible pickup uh, for, for Tainted Lost. With two bombs, would I like to get Broken Modem? Yes, yes I would. The first thing I would like to see is, is more bombs, though. I'm actually going to pop the holy card. And the reasoning is, uh, I think, it's not a game winner, but Broken Modem by itself is, is good enough. Well, it's not a, a winner as Tainted Lost, at least. But it's is good enough to almost, like, lock in and be like, you know what, we're going to stay here. <laughs> we're we're going to preserve that shop. If we get hit once, we don't want to throw the whole run away. We have something to live for right now. Okay, that's that's pretty good as well. Basically a 50% damage improvement. Two bombs on a donation machine will not get us to the 15 cents we require. So we're looking for um, something a little better. It's going to come up, I'm sure. Um, people are going to say, hey, why wouldn't you go to the curse room? You have a holy card. We'll live, um, but we'll lose our holy card, which has a very, like, catastrophic impact on our ability to win in the future. You might say, yeah, but it doesn't matter if you get nine lives, to which I'd reply, that's true. Uh, unfortunately, nine lives doesn't exist in the natural item pool of the Tainted Lost. So, you know. What's your response to that, smart guy? Uh, we need to look for a secret room. I'm gonna guess that it's here. What can I say? <laughs> sometimes you... <laughs> sometimes you get a little lucky. Um, and by the way, uh, I'll tell you straight up that uh, the uh, blue candle's really good as well. Blue candle's really good. But you can only choose one here. We'll be choosing that one and then making our way. All righty. I'm still like it. I, I all I want to do is like move the like the Overton window of people's expectations for Tainted Lost. If you get Stapler as any other character, more or less, because obviously you know there's still like Tainted Jacob and stuff like that. You should expect a win with, like, 100% confidence if you get the stapler so early, like we did. And honestly, I think Scorpio's fine here. Um, maybe we should fish for more. Maybe we should move our perception of what an item is considered to be good at, um, based on the fact that we're playing as a character who's supposed to only have good items. But anyway, Scorpio, you, you still, you're not upset. No one's ever lost and been like, oh, it was Scorpio's fault. Either way, hold on, we're looking for holy cards. You pretty much gotta check every shop. More curse rooms is like actively insulting that that would even be in our pool right now. Uh, but regardless, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, as Tainted Lost, you really need like that, I, I would say like a one out of, uh, one out of 25, one out of 50 run in terms of like item quality and, and run quality. And it needs to be specific, you know, it needs to in particular build towards Either so much offense, you kill basically every enemy before they have a reasonable chance to hit you. Or alternatively, uh, so much defense, you can absorb w two hits without, uh, you know, losing your entire run 40 minutes in. So, you know, we, we, we need a lot more, even a lot more than this before we start getting too confident. Now you could probably start to get a little bit more confident, which scares me. <laughs> I would love to tell you that, like, oh, things are still very difficult, and they are. 
but uh, I, I can't, in in all honesty, be like there's no expectation for success anymore because this is obviously quite good. Um, so I took that not for the apple effect, but because it, it does give us a uh, a tears upgrade, which is quite important. I don't know where, like I know the rocks are coming from Keeper's Kin, but I thought that they would only. It's an interesting choice there. I thought that they would only show up when you blew up rocks. I'm not sure why they're just showing up randomly. I guess maybe like it's the enemies that pick up pots. I don't know, man. It's good damage. You froze for a second with broken modem. This is good as well. We beat the odds and got another deal with the devil. As well as torn photo, which is a much needed tears upgrade. Um, I'll be honest, I'm going to... I'm going to default to chat on this one and I think seven seals is an item that I've considerably underrated that has a chance to be better than I've given it credit for now is is probably the time to start working the game over a little bit now it, the the number one thing I would say we have a win if we could just get holy cards so I, I know we need two bombs to stay on our alt path here but we don't necessarily need them right now so I, I do appreciate that um, I, I think we, this, this is where you kind of, this is where you pot commit. Anytime you get brimstone, you start to think about, you know, this is the kind of run you can build your, your life around. Okay, hello. Don't walk into the mimic. We haven't gotten small rock yet, so let's get that. Okay, well, you know, it would have been fun. <laughs> it would have been a funny moment. Are we going to get Dreamcatcher? I don't know, because it's, it's Dreamcatcher and more options. I think, and I'm, I'm searching the memory banks here. I'm overdrawn at the memory bank like Raul Julia. Um, but I feel like you do get... Another item on alt path item rooms when you have more options. If I'm wrong about that, then I'm wrong about it. It happens uh, probably as often as the alternative does. I'm definitely willing to, to pot commit on this one. And for reasons that I suppose are probably obvious. Uh, I was gonna say we want more luck upgrades, but I think that's, I mean, you always want them, but it's kind of irrelevant here. The thing is, do I see myself really using Dreamcatcher? Mm, not really. <laughs> but I suppose... You know what? It's an entertaining item. Maybe a, maybe a small rock? Maybe a small rock? I guess it give, gives you the same payout, huh? I think it's an entertaining item. So if we know what the item rooms give, then even a Curse of the Unknown doesn't affect us. Or a Curse of the Blind? I think, and then also, um, am I correct in the assumption that we would get a planetarium chance if we didn't go to the item rooms as well? Okay, so let's, let's just head down here. So far, so very good. I would just like to... I mean, that's really sweet. <laughs> I'll also do this just to see if we get small rock. We didn't, but we traded a bomb for a key. Okay, no sweat. So don't skip. Don't skip. Item room contains... Chocolate milk? Or... Is, oh my god, it's an XL floor. Um, well, that, that makes our decision easier. On an XL floor, we're not going to skip two item rooms to get a planetarium chance to be higher. And the items seemed okay. Maybe not amazing, but okay. That's painful. <laughs> These rooms are pretty nasty, man. Just stay in the in the cloud of spiders, nothing can harm you. I mean we're doing a ton of damage. That's that's a given. Unfortunately, this trinket will not save our lives. God, I hate enemies that just spawn out of nowhere, dude. Thank you. I am... I, I'm I'm not worried about seven seals anymore because of the reduced explosion radius on those on those flies, but it, it is the kind of thing, you know... 
plays a role in your head. So the other one was either soy milk or chocolate milk. Do, let's, because if chocolate milk and brimstone is a heck of a combo, oh my god. It, it also drastically increases our charge time, which is a little annoying, um, without a doubt. However, the damage we're going to get out of this is worth it if I remember correctly, which, you know, is a very dangerous sentence. Careful. Certainly, um, we're still... And by the way, by taking uh, uh, the, the spikes... I forget what this is called, but... By taking the spikes, we have given ourselves the ability to actually go into those curse rooms now. And it, it's pretty reliable. Like, I'm not saying we're immune to making mistakes, but it, it is relatively easy to do without getting yourself killed. Um, but it tears upgrades now... We're, we're really, really starting to close in. I'm gonna try it, man. We're really starting to close in on like some escape velocity. Like this is a run that has the potential to beat uh, Super Mom. It's, it's close. <laughs> and I, I think that this is now where like, without a doubt, some, some Isaac players could do it. Am I one of those Isaac players? Let's really... What are you doing, man? Just get out of there. That's really what we're testing here. Okay, so let's... Uh, mo most important thing is getting to the shop, which is why we should not have opened the golden chest, but... Most important thing is getting to the shop. Get yourself... Uh, not a, a guaranteed holy card, but at least the most likely chance of a holy card is going to be on this shop. Beautiful. Well, obviously it's not a holy card. Um, it's weird um, because I really have to look at perfection as like an awesome trinket. Obviously, this makes it even better. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to hold it. And then what, what we're looking for, and this is like, I mean, we're, we're starting to put some lines out in the water. Um, but what we're looking for is, uh, and don't forget about the, the knife piece. But what we're looking for is uh, the wooden cross. This is the worst boss we could face right now, essentially. Um, if we get wooden cross... Okay, I understand. Uh, if we get Wooden Cross, our ability to protect our existing, you know, holy uh, effect is quite high. <laughs> you just have to wait this one out. At some point, the I was just going to say, the remaining enemies will make themselves known. Still chilling. Still chilling. Hate that, but still chilling. Wave six of six. Okay, this is what we're, this is what it's all about. Okay, increased planetarium chance. Not a holy card. Don't don't forget the knife piece. Um, I, it's dangerous. Don't do that. Don't give me hope. I now, like, I mean, oh, come on, we need the knife piece, that's a given. But I also think there's no reason not to explore a little bit more. Even though the odds of getting a holy card via this uh, methodology is essentially infinitesimal. Still worth a shot. I was looking for a, uh, a fortune teller. I think a fortune teller would do a lot for us. By the way, we're at 13 minutes and we're on our way to the mausoleum, so um, that's pretty good. Now, I'd just like to remind myself, I don't believe you actually get a holy effect in here. So I think when we were doing this earlier, I didn't recall that. And the bizarre nature of human confidence is that by not recalling the fact that you need a holy card, I played pretty well. Or not need a holy card, but that you don't have one. 
Um, now that I know if I get touched one time is good night nurse, I'm like, now I'm a little nervous, honestly. Whether or not I should be, you know, it remains to be seen. That's a very good charge for us. Okay, that was actually super easy. <laughs> I have, have nothing, uh, I have nothing to say apart from that. All right. So we're going to keep Mom's box of trinkets. The, the doubled luck effect, like, I don't expect 20 luck to be that much different than 9. Oh my god, the drilling, dude. Is so annoying. <laughs> Are you... Ah! This is... We're getting really close to that viral clip where I'm like, I ain't getting... I didn't get no sleep because of you, so you ain't gonna get no sleep because of me. No brimstone beams, please. Thank you. Um, I know you probably can't hear it, but, like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I can hear it. It's annoying the crap out of me. Uh, the world card, very nice. The hermit card, very nice. Uh, restock is, like, a, an essential item. Obviously, doesn't do a, a whole lot for us without a card in the shop. But if you have a lot of money and a card in the shop, then, like... Oh, I skipped over Planetarium. Total, totally my bad. Totally my bad. But, um, if you skip... Or if, if you... Oh, we took the right item anyway. We, we definitely would have wanted it. Um, if you get money, and then you have a, a, a shop with a card in it, then you're going to be really happy because you have uh, the ability to just keep buying until possibly a holy card shows up. You might end up paying, you know, through the teeth. But on the bright side, it's better to pay through the teeth for immortality than to uh, die. So, remember we're fishing for wooden cross. I just, I, 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 I didn't have to use it, but I just, I had lost confidence there. Um, and I, I don't feel bad about that at all. <laughs> I feel totally justified. Okay, you just die insanely fast, which is nice for us. Um, let's see what we got. Mom's knife. It, I believe it or not, and this is going to be a controversial decision without a doubt. I think it makes brimstone worse in this context. So I, I take my emotion out of it and I just, I just send it. I skipped over the uh, planetarium, or I, I skipped over the uh, dream catcher again, and yet we definitely, we still would have taken PhD. You might say that's that's so-called copium, but I disagree. PhD is uh, mighty important because it gives us potential stat increases. There's no way you took that little damage from the shot. I, I just don't believe it. There, there was some tomfoolery on display there. So I must remind myself. We have a holy card effect right now. Yeah, that's correct. I don't know. I, I think that gives us not respawnability as a loss. I think that gives us, um, like, the lost soul at some points. I can't recall, but... Just get out of there, man. It's not worth the chest. This is all, like, a very roundabout way of saying, like, for me... I just need to keep in mind whether or not we're one hit away from death or two hits away from death because it completely changes the game. Even at our current setup, we probably would not beat the beast, in my opinion. You have to check. What the heck is the Queen of Hearts, dude? <laughs> Queen of Hearts Repentance. What does it do, man? Just one queen of hearts. The, what's the wiki doing, man? Queen of hearts. Spawns one to 20 full red hearts. Okay, well, it, it, we were going to buy it anyway because we're fishing for holy cards. I know that you're looking at car battery as well, but... The moon is pretty good. Um, I, I think we'll probably just pop it. Get whatever we can get right away. Um, we have to, 
no, 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 no. We have to make a decision. The decision is how deep are we willing to... How deep are we willing to go... Um, on the shop? And the... I, I, it's less about, like, how deep are you willing to go? Power pill's pretty nice. And much more about, like, uh... How many extra rooms do I want to have to do to get enough money to get an infinitesimal chance at another, uh... At another card. Another holy card. I just hate this room. Um, and the answer is, like, I'd, I'd, I'd like to go fairly deep. <laughs> Give it a try. I just got a good feeling about that one. So, uh, rip, rip to my donation machine, but I'm built different. 11 cents now. I mean, I got a cop, dude. Like, the magician card is pretty sick. I think we're just gonna go. I, I think I'm out of here. Now, we should take the negative. We'll, we'll open the door. We'll charge this up in case it's Krampus. Damocles, from the time that we use it, doubles items that we get and it cannot harm us. None of these are game winning. <laughs> it doubles our pedestals is what I mean to say, I guess. Any Anytime we get something that's game winning, we're going to be all over it, man. Thank you, Broken Modem. All right, I, I would let yourself start to believe. I, I don't think that we're going to win. And I know that that sounds like sandbagging. It's just, I, I don't see us winning without a second holy card to pop on the beast. But I certainly do think this is the closest we've been for a while. Like the damage potential on this run is just absurd. And I, I do think if we manage to get the uh, if we manage to get a holy card, there's a really good shot. If we manage to get um, the wooden cross, I think our chances go up considerably. I don't know if I would say it's, you know, more likely we'd win than lose, but we'd start to think about it, maybe. So far, so good. So we're trying to <laughs> just the occasional tap shooting. <laughs> Broken modem could could almost do it by itself. If if we if we play out of our minds, there is a win lying within weight in this run. Yeah, you not dying to that shot was very surprising to me. Um, quite the run though. Quite the run. Early brimstone. Damocles said no to mom's knife. Like this is this is the stuff of legend right here. This doesn't happen all that much. Still taking out most enemies in a single hit. Like like most of the danger is either confined to accidentally walking into um, like a spike chest or enemies that like shoot beams, enemies that telefrag, etc. This boss, <laughs> for example, like we just want them to not be able to even shoot once. Okay, and it, that's how it worked. We do get a, a devil deal. Um, Abyss. Hold on, let me see what this is again. Abyss. Repentance. I think it turns items into flies. Right? The, when it destroys all items on item pedestals, gives Isaac a unique red locust familiar for each one. Well, like, the shade is not the play, so... Um, I think we ignore it, unfortunately. Although we could have used it for two flies here. It is spun, so no matter what I'm taking. Range decrease is literally irrelevant. Oh, we actually get both. Oh, because of Damocles, dude. So power pill matters. It, it genuinely matters. We can pop this as soon as we, and, and it will likely happen, as soon as we lose our holy effect. Or right there to protect our holy effect if that guy had actually managed to shoot. <laughs> So we are, I mean, we upped our damage. I think we upped our rate of fire as well. What rune is that's Isaac's rune, I think. Soul, soul of Magdalene. Okay, soul of Magdalene, Isaac. 
Soul of Magdalene. Just clicking on it. Um, surrounds Isaac with a bubbling red aura for the current room. All enemies killed drop half red hearts that disappear in two seconds. Okay. Lots of, lots of great stuff um, for a character that could pick up HP. However, that does not describe us. I don't know if that's devil deals cost money or occasionally shops show up. One second here. Keeper's bargain. <laughs> Keeper's bargain, Isaac. Is this... Uh, adds a chance for devil deals to cost money instead of... No effect on Tainted Lost. Okay, there you go. That's, I appreciate that you didn't bury the lead on that one. I didn't think it was going to be our play for the record, but... Just chilling. I mean, this one, it, it genuinely, what can you say? You have a good run that's made it to the corpse, even if your defense kind of sucks. You've accomplished something. So there, there's a real sense that, like, if you just play out of your gourd, you're safe here. You might take issue with me on this one, but all I'm going to say is that, like, we really don't need any more damage to win this run. We need defense, and getting hit is basically catastrophic, you know? Like, a single hit against us um, kills us. Well, it, does, it, it halves our HP. It puts us one hit away from death. <gasps> no! <laughs> no, 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 I got, I got so greedy. Okay, what do we do then? We take a deep breath, and we say it's okay. We say we don't get mad at ourselves, we forgive ourselves, okay? As we forgive those who trespass against us. It wouldn't be a, a tainted loss run without a little bit of added drama at some point. I would say that pretty accurately describes how I'm feeling right now. Um, so now it's very simple, you simply cannot get hit. What's my strategy? Uh, excuse me? My strategy is, uh... Uh, don't die. My secondary strategy is if we find the boss, also fish for secret rooms. Don't shoot things at me, please. Uh, and, and perhaps... What the heck is this? Ring cap twice the bang. It looks like a Mr. Donut, dude. My secondary strategy, I hate this room, uh, is... If you could... Oh my god. If you could also maybe, like, pick up some spiders en route, you never know, right? Pick up some spiders by blowing some stuff up. Not dead. Not dead, by the way. Well... Broken modem, don't fail me now. God, I just wouldn't cross, man. <laughs> We'd really hit the spot. Well, we've seen everything there is to see there. You gotta be smart on this one, you know? You gotta, you gotta take your time. Every room that we go through, it, my philosophy... Oh my god. <laughs> Is if we were gonna die on that room, we probably would have died on the beast as well. So don't panic too much. We got a power pill. We use it on an attack that that frightened. Like if he, if if Uber Mom spawns the Pong attack, we absolutely have to use power pill. Thank you, broken modem. Thank you, Broken Modem. I do not see a Pong attack incoming. I, I count this as a sensible decision. Okay, well, you just, you just gotta dodge it.
Modem, don't fail me now. <laughs> no. I got a little frightened. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> oh! Happy Sunday, Crystal Key. That was uh, expected and unexpected at the same time. Just goes to show you how strong that run was, right? For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya! Oh, man. <laughs>